Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is Shanghai Area Wave Trader gives in to analyze a Shanghai Composite Index. Well, we are looking at the Shanghai Composite Index, right. SSE. Uh, some traders uh, for the trading view, they are using SH. C O M P R. So I've done my homework I'm talking about area wave uh, analysis, but I have a question. All right, have you ever counted area wave and you do not know what to do with that wave count? Have you ever counted area wave and uh, wonder whether this is a valid area wave count? Or do you have uh, a lot of reservation? after counting Elliott wave. Uh, this is a one a situation where we can't wave and uh, we do not know whether we should use that Elliott wave analysis or not. All right, as I'm going to show you now on this chart, all right, I have a little bit of reservation when it comes to this, uh, okay, wave analysis. But we're going to look at it from different angle. And uh, at the end of the day, if you are not very satisfied with the area we count, what do we do? You should know it now. We refer to the market pattern and we map out the chart. That's it. So after you have done your area wave analysis, the area wave forecast, but you have a lot of reservation for that area wave analysis, if that is the case, you must refer to the market pattern and map out the chart and you will be all right. All right. So let's get started. So my first wave, normally, I would prefer to put it here. Okay. Why? Because you can see that uh, my data is from uh, 1994. So probably I have enough data. If not, let me know in the comment section. All right. Is there anything now that I can use here to have more data? All right. So price went up. This is an impulse move, all right? Unless there are more information here that we do not see. But we are working with what we got, but we put a little bit of question mark on it. Do we have enough data, all right? Then we call this one the second wave of a higher degree. And our third wave started here. First manual wave, second manual wave, third manual wave, fourth manual wave, and the fifth manual wave, all right? So the red lines are the red numbers are representing the internal waves of the first wave. So we know that the impulse wave can be subdivided into five mano waves. If you are new to Elliott wave trading, go to www.24elliottwaves.com so you may start familiarizing yourself with the Elliott wave principle. So from here, all the way up there to that uh, blue number three, that's the third wave of a higher degree. Now, if you look carefully, after the third wave, we are we are having a fourth wave. But look what's happening. So the first reaction of that fourth wave, look how deep it was, very, very deep, and it violated the first wave, you see? So normally, this is an area wave rule, number one rule, all right? Is that the fourth wave should not come in the range of the first wave. So if this is a correct first wave, that any portion of the fourth wave shouldn't come into the range of the first wave. So this is the high of the first wave, this is the low of the first wave, provided that we have enough data. All right. So between those two pink lines, uh, we have the range of the first wave. And so the first leg of what's supposed to be the fourth wave goes into that range, which is a typical in your way violation. Sometimes you will see that, and you may be wondering what's going on. But you have to understand what was happening here, because in 2000, from 2008 to 2009, we have the financial crisis, and people were divesting from China. People were just saying, oh, we don't want to be there anymore. We want to come out before it's too late. So I think they push it a bit too far. So in my mind, I'm thinking that probably this is a distortion, this move beyond this level. It's a bit of exaggeration. Uh, all right. just, just, 
If you are accepting it as an exaggeration, all right, be aware of it, put a question mark on it, and put that wave count with a bit of exaggeration to one side and say, all right, suppose this is an exaggeration, and this move now is not supposed to happen, but it happened. We'll take it with a, a pinch of salt, all right, so to speak, and then we move on with it. So with that, we'll say, there is an alien wave violation, probably due to an exaggeration. If that is the case, all right, so we will say that, all right, probably this is the fourth wave still in place. So we'll say to trade it, if this is the fourth wave with a bit of exaggeration, because it went to the range of the first wave, we have now what we call a flat correction, which is a double retracement. So the first reaction, you see, all the way down here, very deep fourth wave. What kind of fourth wave is this? But you can see it's a, a sharp correction. This is a, a sharp correction. See, sharp correction. This was happened with a sharp correction. A sharp correction is a distortion to a certain degree. You see, so probably this is a distortion because a sharp correction is a distortion. Because the range of the first wave, a bounce up, so two, a three. Then you rally up again. So this is a double retracement. So now traders are thinking of a flat correction. If you look carefully here, you say A, a B. C, D, E. No, it's not A, B, C, D, E. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, forming the C wave of the flat correction. Because the structure of the flat correction is 1, 2, 3, all right, 1, 2, 3, which is a double retracement, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we call this one as the first part of the flat correction as A, happen to be a sharp correction, all right? And we call this session one, two, three, all right, as the B wave of the flat correction. Then we call this one one, two, three, four, five. We will say that this is okay, a classic a flat correction. It's not an expanded flat correction because the B wave did not go to the one three one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level of the third wave. So I'm choosing my well very, very carefully. You remember, you remember the question that I was asking you? Have you ever counted wave and you do not know what to do with it? Have, do, you, do you have a reservation, a lot of reservation about your wave count after, that, after you have done everything? This is one scenario here. So, do you think that it's an exaggeration? It's an exaggeration. It's a distortion because it's a sharp correction. They bring it up, boom, 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 and everybody dump it. Shoo! Now you went to the first of the, the first way. What are you going to do about that? You may go ahead with it, knowing that there is a question mark on it. You may go ahead with it, saying that probably this is a distortion, exaggeration, bringing the price to the range of the first way. I'm aware of it, but I'll use this wave count. I'll put it aside. But I know there is an alien wave violation due to okay, a distortion. But because there is an alien wave violation, we cannot talk about it in a public place. We put it aside. And if you want to work with it, that's a, a private matter, our own decision and our own choice. Are you happy with that wave count with a bit of reservation on it, saying that this is a first wave, second wave, third wave? and a flat correction is being completed where we are now. All right? Now, if you want to go by the book of the area way without any violation, so in that case, we're going to go again and say, all right, so let's, let's call this one, then let's call this one first way. John, let's call this one first way. I don't want to violate the area way rule, but you have to take that also into consideration because some trader will work with that. You say, yes, it's an exaggeration, but I'm aware of it. I work with that. You see, why we go into the mind of other traders? If you have a reservation, what do we do? We go with the market pattern and we map out the chart. And we will do that at the end of this blah, blah, blah. Another trader may say, Joe, this is the end of the first wave. Do you see? This is the second wave right there. All right, George. Then here, people were expecting the third wave. But that the third wave has been cancelled come back to the starting point. Ask yourself, you have said before, George, 
Are you, are, you, are you getting old, John? Why are you forgetting? You said it before yourself. All right. As you have said before, if we see that sometimes, we can just cover it. And then things can become clearer after we cover it. Didn't you say that before, John? Right. So they say, okay, he cancel it. Right. So they say, cancel it. So they say, oh, first way, second way, all right. Now they say he counsel it. Okay. Because it come back to the starting point. So they say, all right, we must restart counting well. This is the area where count guideline by two for eight way. So they say, all right, now this is the beginning because he counsel it. Okay, there's it's like a hole here. So this is our second wave is here. All right, now this is the beginning of the third wave, John. All right. And now, why you are calling a flat correction? Yes, George, this is a flat correction. So let me say, first wave, second wave, third wave. Now your flat correction is standing here without any area wave violation. So this is another way, another trade that may count that way. What's the difference? No big difference. Everybody agrees that, uh, okay, there was a trend, <laughs> all right, and there is a correction. The first one is saying there was a trend, and there was a correction, but with a little bit of any way violation due to a distortion. The second one has not noted any distortion or violation of any way rule, and his wave count is standing correctly. Uh, both are calling the same thing, flat correction. All right, there's another group of traders that may say, George, all right, I agree with this as a first way, I agree with this as a second way, all right, I agree with this as a, a third way, but George, I don't know where you are learning your idea with theory from, uh, this, the, your fourth way is right there. What you are seeing here, my dear George, which year is that? 2009, George, okay, or 2008, okay, my dear George, all right. Reference point 2009. How many times did you say yourself, Joe? That's the reference point 2009. The S&P 500 has started a new trend. So this is the beginning of the third wave of a higher... Uh, where are we now? Oh, this is the beginning. <laughs> so that person will say this is the beginning of... Uh, what about? <laughs> the beginning of the fifth wave. So if he's calling this fourth wave, so this will be the beginning of... Uh, the fifth wave, so you see, oh, first manor wave of the fifth wave, all right, George, second manor wave for the fifth wave, a uh, third, okay, so probably, what are we now, so see, okay, third manor wave, or blah, 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 and now it's not adding up. Do you see another way to count wave? So the third one is not working at all, right? All right, do you see anything else? So one, two, three. The third wave, no, no, no. All right, so this is what we are saying. So you count a wave, you count a wave, and you are not satisfied with it. This is a scenario here. So which one do you prefer? All right, we, we are discounting completely the third wave count. All right, so there is no third wave count here. We're going to work with the first one and the second one. Okay, if you see something else, let us know in the comment section. All right. Personally, talking about myself, George, all right, I'll go with the first wave count and I will say, all right, uh, this is the first wave, and this is the second wave, and this is the third wave, and this is the fourth wave forming, okay, a flat correction here. I'll go with that with the reservation that there is an alien wave violation. I'm aware of it, but I want to work with this one instead because. Even the person that is calling one, this one first wave, or right, there's no big difference. Uh, in my mind, I'm talking about my training style, I'll go with that with a little bit of reservation. Because there is an earlier wave violation, all right, in this case, we cannot completely rely on our earlier wave count as such. Unless you are happy with the second wave count, calling this one the first wave, which I'm not. I will now switch into the second step, you remember? The second step consists of uh, using market pattern, all right, and, and mapping out the chart, and we will be what? All right, all right. So, 
The reason why I'm recording this video is that it's very interesting. You they went trade sometimes they can't win. Or right. even if you go to the yearly chart, uh, you're not going to get uh, much information. So we go to the yearly chart for instance. Can the yearly chart help us uh, to settle our differences? So you can see here, so the yearly chart is a fast way. So you see, you see on the yearly chart, this looks more like a fast way all the way up here. Right, so it makes more sense to call this one fast way all the way up here, second way. And then somebody may say, oh, all right, oh, this is the third way, which we always say. And then we say, this is the fourth way now here. Yeah. It makes sense? All right, do you see a fifth way? So it's clear to me that probably we are in the fourth way, but because there was an earlier wave violation, as we have seen it before, uh, we will work with the market uh, pattern and map out the chart, and we will be all right. So I'm going back to my uh, daily, my monthly chart, all right? Okay. So how do we map out the chart? All right. I will say to you, I've done it before, you should know now. Okay, connect the low of the first wave and the low of the second wave. All right, that's the first trend line that you want to draw. So if, if for instance, with a question mark on it, because what I want you to remember is that this is a very important point. Are you listening? Have I got have I gotten your attention? Good. Though we are calling this the fourth wave, don't be surprised that the price can continue to go down more. So here, so we are not saying that this is the end of the fourth wave. We are saying that we are in the fourth wave. Don't forget that, okay? So if for now we accept this as the end of the fourth wave, which we should not, we can connect the low of the second wave and the low of the third wave. Now remember that the fourth, we are now in the fourth wave. Okay, because the common satellite is not broken here, the prime is still coming down, it can come all the way here. All right, so and then we will connect the high of the first wave and the high of the third wave. That line is not very useful to us now because it's just looking up to heaven. All right, <laughs> you see here, that's there. But there is another trend line that we can draw connecting this high and this peak there. So all we are doing, what are we doing now? We are just mapping out the chart. Okay. Hold on, please. I got uh, three minutes more. We need to hurry up. So what I'm going to do next now? I'm going to what am I? What am I? What am I? What am I? We can do. We can draw more line. We can connect to this one. Okay, and uh, that line there. All right. We can connect this one and this one here. We can connect this one and this one here. All right. Now what I'm going to do now? Stay with me, please. All right. You see, because I connect this one and this one, I connect uh, okay. Uh, this one and this one, I'm going to draw another line through the middle, just roughly. Just going to draw it roughly like this. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to divide the angle between this one, which I'm going to call and I'll change the color of it into green. I need to hurry up fast, otherwise I'm going to go over my time. Oops, I want to change the color of it into green. That's not very green. Good. Excellent. Okay, and that one. Right? So what I'm doing, I'm dividing the angle between the two green lines into two, drawing another media line through the middle. You see, that's what I did now. Roughly, roughly, roughly. All right, you get it? All right, so here, here it is. And nothing should stop you to draw another media line through this one here, these two yellow, orange one, whatever. All right, so keep drawing the media line, you see here. You can draw another line like this, roughly, 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 and leave it there. We may say that green line is dividing these two. You see? Just roughly, roughly. Okay, now? So, now it's on the edge of this orange one here. So, what we can do, because it's a support level there, all right, at a 2434, we'll be watching this zone. How do we watch it? 
you go to the next lower time frame, top down trading method, daily chart, you are monitoring, all right, so there is a support there, okay, today you see, because of this support here, bounce up, you doing almost the same thing there, we want to implement a top down trading method to trading, you want to buy, you are expecting a pullback flash, or at least common share trend line to be broken, so now I'm on a daily chart, we can draw a trend line very close to the price like this, knowing that, okay, all right, so those that are buying now are buying at a support level using a different time frame trading method, daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame. That's for today. All right. All right. So another trade that may wait until it breaks a bow and retest it or break a bow and form a higher low or see another trading setup. You understand? Now, for instance, if I go back to the hourly time frame, okay, we are zooming to see here that the double button that we are seeing on the daily chart is more clear here on the hourly time frame, and people are pushing it gently, gently. So if you are here on the hourly time frame, uh, you will also draw a common central analysis on the hourly time frame. It's kaput, at least, yes or no. All right? And you take it from there, gently, 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 all right? Okay, so we are not completely satisfied with our wave count. We compare our wave count to another scenario. No big difference, all right? So we don't have to worry too much about those traders, all right? Now, because there was an earlier wave violation and we are not completely satisfied with our earlier wave analysis, we are now referring to the market pattern using trend line, mapping out the chart so we can. I uh, find a high probability trend set out on the edge of a trend line, on the edge of a key level, all right? And then we will implement a different time frame trading method. Because the excess, the reason why we use the area wave principle is to focus the market to have a bit of idea what is likely to take place. Sometimes we will count the wave and we are not satisfied with it. So if you are not satisfied with our area we count, we go into the mind of other traders. So we, we will look at it from different angles. That's what we did now, all right? By see, seeing it from the viewpoint of other traders, because we are not the only person in the financial market. Wouldn't it be nice to, to, to see it from different angles? I think it's good. So you are, you are not surprised when the price behaves in a certain way. So you can understand what kind of traders, crazy traders out there that are doing something that you were not expecting. So you can understand why some people are behaving the way they are behaving in the financial market. So now I put pitchfork through on it. Point, point, point. So already too many lines, but they are there for a reason. We are just looking for a trading setup there. The common set line on the monthly chart is not broken. Okay. And then when we see a trading setup, see this is a nice move, one, two, three, bounce up, one, two, three. So in my view, there's this is a flat correction. There are traders watching this zone right now. So if you're expecting it to go up, you're looking for a bullish trading setup. It's trying to retest this prior high here. Personally, I will call this one the first way, but because there is a violation, I leave it here for now. All right. So this is what you need to do. All right, so after the fourth way, we will expect the fifth way. Now, sometimes the plan will print something up. So suppose, okay, let's dwell on it a little bit, all right? I'm watching the time though, all right? Suppose, for instance, all right, we are, we are expecting you to find a support there. Does it mean that definitely you will find a support there? No, it doesn't mean that. It can, it can crash through it, come to the green one here, all right, and continue to go down more. And we may see more violation. Does it mean that our area we focus was wrong? No. With the information that we have today, that's what we can say to traders. But we are not forcing our expectation on the price. We are, we are just flowing with the price. That's why we need to map out the price. We don't want to resist the movement of the price. We just want to see, is there a bearish signal? Is there a bullish signal? If there is a bearish signal, we implement a different afternoon terminal, we sell it. If there was a bullish system. So you say, all right, it's not confirming our focus. That's all. all right. Like now you can break below that orange line and then bounce up and retest the final resistance and then sell it down to the pink one and then it crash through it and you say, oh, George, you said it's the end of the flag correction, you useless boy. 
no don't use the trading video okay like uh, okay trading signal all right on youtube it's educational purposes sharing my opinion and my tips and tricks with traders out there a lot of traders that are struggling with alien way may watch this video and it will help them to make better decisions a lot of traders that want to master the alien way will see it and say learn something from it that can help them ultimately to become a better alien way traders so the, the, the intention of sharing videos on YouTube, like the educational area way video on YouTube, is to help traders to become a better area way traders. Sometimes traders mark the video down because they have the one that they buy, or the price went down, they sell, the price went up, they say, oh, don't go, oh, George. But that's not the purpose of it, all right? If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you dislike it, be sure to mark it down. If you think it's an essential tutorial that can help other in your way traders, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. I really appreciate traders that are sharing our video, and it means a lot to me personally. All right. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, our channel is 24 Idiot Wave, DG2, DG4, Idiot Waves in plural. All right, subscribe and be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we're about to, to, to live a stream and pre-record a video, you will be the first person to be notified. All right. Sometimes I post video first on Facebook, sometimes first on YouTube. So to track me and know where I am, all right, my Facebook page is stochastic macd until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSGW24 traders talking about Shanghai in your wave trader. Give Vince to analyze Shanghai Composite Index. Are you from China? Are you from Beijing? Are you from Shanghai? All right, let us know in the comment section. How do you say hello in Chinese? How do you say how are you in Chinese? Please let me know in the comment section. Do you live in China? Where part of China do you live in? All right. Let me know, please. All right. Or is any stock in China that you want us to analyze? Let me know. So we can start analyzing some Chinese stock. All right. Whatever you do, all right. Enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW, a 24 traders, talking about Shanghai in your wave trader, gives him to analyze the Shanghai Composite in Dash. Happy trading to you all. Happy New Year to you all. All right. And thank you for watching. Thank you.